So I do a lot of work with teens, and uh, one of them wrote me, and they asked me this question. What makes a grown-up, and when will I know when I'm a grown-up? And it's really a very sweet question, and it's really a very important one. And it's important when you're a teen, but it's also something that stays with you. I mean, you and I both know people who are way older than 18 who have not mastered adulthood, who haven't gotten to that grown-up stage yet. And by the same token, we know people who are younger than that, who have a lot going on in the maturity department. It's fair to say, too, that kids are under a lot of pressure to reach the milestones, get into a good school, get on the honor roll, graduate with the appropriate uh, title and cord around your neck, make sure you get a good job, get married, get to these destinations, and get to these destinations, and sooner or later you'll get to one that's going to make you okay. But I got to tell you, as someone who's reached a lot of destinations, all I ever find when I get to one is another one. Part of being an adult is being okay with that and getting out of uh, what I call destination mentality. When I travel around, I, I ask people a lot of questions because I'm curious and I love people. But one of the questions that I ask a lot is, how did you know when you were a grown-up? What happened to make you decide that you were an adult? And different people have different answers. I mean, society doesn't do a great job at saying, boom, here it is, you're done. So different people have different details. Uh, for some people, it's when they got married or when they graduated. For some people, it's when they paid their first mortgage payment. Different people have different details. But I find that the essence is always the same, no matter what the particulars are. Over and over again, the thing that people tell me is that they knew they were an adult when they were called upon to give. Isn't that interesting? You're an adult when you're called upon to give your attention, your time, your validation, your money. Sure, that too. You are called upon to give something, and that's part of what makes you an adult. I mean, think about it. When you're little, someone else tells you what's right and what's wrong, how to behave, what has meaning. When you are a child, meaning is given to you. But as you become an adult, you start to give meaning back. You start to help define what is meaningful, what is appropriate, what is good as you begin to take charge of what's right and wrong in your own life and begin to act not because of what other people tell you or from some kind of pressure outside of yourself, but rather what's in your heart to give, you start to grow. You're an adult when you give meaning back. And I want you to know that right now there is someone in your life who would love to hear you tell them that they're okay, just as they are right now. This is a very grown up thing to do. But I want to make sure you know too that the process of learning never ends. Like I said, let's get out of that idea that destinations are important. Somewhere along the line, somebody decided that being an adult meant you had to be jaded, that you'd seen it all, that you were done, that you just handled everything and nobody ever helped you. I've met some people who feel like they have to handle everything that they don't want help and that they'll throw a fit if somebody else tries to help them, tries to open the door, tries to fix it for them. You know who those people are? They're two-year-olds. Saying, I do it, nobody else, is one of the most childish things you can do. But on the other hand, one of the most mature attitudes is this. I am teachable. My ego isn't going to be shattered if I ask for assistance. I am, in other words, okay with being in process. So it's those two things. It's the idea of service and giving, and it's the idea of asking for help and being a good steward of the flow. And as we work with both of those things together, we start to grow up. There's something that you can give right now. There's some kind of meaning that you can provide. There's some kind of validation, some kind of, kind of teaching that you can give. Share what you know. Share what you've learned, but let that learning continue. Don't be in such a hurry to go somewhere else. Where you are right now has something beautiful to teach you. Be okay where you are, and you begin to grow up. Thanks for asking the questions. Thanks for sharing them. Thanks for everything that you're doing. Thank you for subscribing to these movies. Keep up the good work, and keep taking care of each other.